turn number one. Boy, Brian Smith got a lousy start on that deal, I'm going to tell you. And we're wholesale battle up in the front of this one. Rider number one, a champion in this series, uh, rookie of the year in the Grand National. He's missed a cog off the line, look like. Meantime, the battle's up front. And I mean, everybody is going, chasing, racing here in this one. Literally stepping up to beat just a bit. And sitting out there in front. Jared Meese out of Honeybrook, Pennsylvania, folks. I believe this might be his first time leading one of these. I don't know if we'll find out. But Jared Meese and Jacob Johnson, hot pursuit. Man, look at them go. Maroney, Harley Davidson. Sitting back in number three spot right now. We got Rusty Rogers. Rusty Rogers hanging on to the precarious number three. And look at the youngsters go for it. Handlebar to handlebar. Man, they're going to settle this amongst themselves. Deep down the back straightaway, Meese and Johnson. And I mean, the battle's behind them, but uh, they got their own race plan here tonight. Johnson's now out in front. We got Meese in second. I mean, you can almost tie them together. They're so close. Look like a horsepower is really equal. Where's your eco? Looking for that front wheel on you, Eco. Looks like the rising sun. Here he comes, coming on through the pack. Yeah, he got a good front wheel. Here's a run, handlebar to handlebar down the straightaway, deep down at turn number one, and Johnson holds him at bay. But Meese comes back on the inside. I mean, he does not give up. I know this guy right here. He does not give up. I've watched him do some horrendous things on two wheels. Now he's out in front. Jared Meese, Honeybrook, Pennsylvania, 16 years young. The guy back in third is 18 years older than him. And I don't know how old Johnson is, but he's young too. And they go handlebar to handlebar, wheel to wheel, engine to engine, a rider high up on the racetrack, and he slides off the hay bales. He's okay. He just, uh, that's why you got hay bales there, Donna. He's okay. He's all right. Just uh, nothing hurt but his pride and the mosquitoes that bit him. Meantime, he's coming out of turn number four down the straightaway, and Rogers is way high up off the racetrack, too. He's letting that bike drift. Getting a little bit tired. He realized he got well, he's got a semi-final to try to run. In the meantime, the run's up front. The run is up front. As they rumble down that back straightaway area, Meese and Johnson, and let's go change again. No, it didn't go change again. It goes off the bike. Johnson on the racetrack, rider down on the speedway. And that right bike came apart. Rider hit the other bike on the speedway. Two riders down on the track. Two riders down on the speedway. Well, um, one bike literally came broke in half on the racetrack. Okay, Johnson is apparently all right. He's waving. He just got to tell you what happened. He got in the tank slapper coming out of turn number four. He got in a high-speed wobble. We're going to have an ambulance coming over to the uh, straightaway momentarily. Okay, now you folks, please uh, don't get right up on that fence there. We'll give you the word just as soon as we can find out um, the condition. Don's early lights. Hey, man, we all been there somewhere along the line. Oh, John, uh, he was a good one back in his day. Of course, he was out there playing the game like all of us. We'd like to tell you, ask you folks, please, to move back from the fence area. Get back into the grandstand area, please, away from the fence. That fence sometimes will give up on you. go right down the road here in Winchester and they used to have a TT track down there and a guy come across a big jump on his front front wheel and uh, forks and all 
Came right off the bike. We need the sweeper down into turn in the straightaway area down by turn number four. We need the sweeper. They haven't been in the truck yet. All in the country, and it is good time. End in file restart, wheel to wheel. They'll all be touching right there, so to speak. Falling in. down in turn number one and Jared Meese gets shot from the cannon once again Rogers in second position all the action behind him now as he moves out of turn number one into turn number two laps wind down here tonight in the Harley Davidson Sports to Performance Series meantime Meese is out in command on the Moroni Harley Davidson and the battle's on for second as we watch riders crowd up on the elusive Rusty Rogers Rogers in second rider number Rogers in second, round number 78 in the number three spot. That'll be Scott Sherb out of Decatur, Texas, chasing the Virginian down the back straightaway. They rumble down deep at turn number three, and Sherb is right there, making Rogers work all the way around on this one. Coming out of turn number four, sitting out in front, Beast in front. And watching now as Sherb looks to the low line of Rogers. Rogers cuts him off at the pass, though, and holds him at bay out of turn one into turn number two. Body English is a bike out of turn number two. It always scared me to watch Rusty do that. Now, he's good at it. He knows what he's doing. He lays that bike a funny way. And he's got a little bit more running room now as he comes out of turn number four. As the laps wind down, he's out in front. Rogers in second. And the racer from Texas, Scott Sherb, number 78 in the number three spot. As they round turn number two down that back straightaway area, Rogers trying to play catch up. But Meese is elusive as the stars in the sky as he rumbles out of turn number three. Comes high on the racetrack out of turn number four. Rogers again there in the game as he comes down the straightaway area. Meantime, Sherb is on him. Scott Sher back in number three position. Rogers again, he fumbles a little bit, and Sherb's gonna get the bite out of turn number two. But they go for it right now. Sherb in second spot. Rogers fades back to number three. Took a bobble out of turn number two. Now the run goes on. The white flag unfurls this time around. Meese in the lead spot. Scott Sherb in second. Rusty Rogers hangs on to number three. Moves down the straightaway area. One more tour of the oval. As they come out of turn number one, hard now into turn number two, Jared Meese, Scott Sherb, and Rusty Rogers down the back straightaway. Rogers still hanging on for a podium finish here tonight, if he can do it. Moves out of turn number three, Jared Meese, Honeybrook, Pennsylvania, across the grid. Second place, Scott Sherb, third place, Rusty Rogers. Well, folks, let him hear from you. Quite a run, indeed. Quite a run, indeed. Jared Meese from Honeybrook, Pennsylvania. Folks, let him hear from you. Pretty cool. Not a good run out there. You took advantage when Rusty slipped. Man, you were right there. That's what you got to do. Yeah, I got a bad start right off the bat. Missed a shift in the beginning of the race. And... Uh, they let my kid get in front of me, and that held me up. I was like, come on, and we're, we're moving to the front, but I felt like I was a little faster, and uh, unfortunately, his bike broke, and then the next lap, they had a, a, a pretty good wreck, and uh, got a good start, and uh, was just waiting, following Rusty, and he did bobble, and I took advantage of it. We're supposed to do that. Uh, congratulations, good run, and hope to see you down the road. Thanks, I wanna thank the Lord. This is a dangerous sport, and uh, you know, his angels were around, Brian, and uh, Jake when they went down and I know that they'll be all right and uh, real proud of uh, Jared over here did it for his buddy Oh, yeah, great job indeed and uh, you come down there from Texas with uh, Terry Poovey and that bunch So uh, we know you're a good one. Let me go over and talk to Jared last time I saw you was up in Amelia And you were doing a heck of a job up there and you told me you said next time you see me He's gonna be at one of the professional races and I'm gonna be right there winning. That's exactly what you're doing Congratulations yeah, thanks a lot. I uh, really wish Jake and uh, Brian would have really pulled through. I was really looking forward to finishing with Jake right next to me here. Uh, you know, but you know, that's racing. But uh, the FastHog.com team really put a good bike together for me, and uh, it was working great all night. 
the heat race, I got off to a bad start, but uh, the final, I made up for it, so here I am. That's what counts anyway. Congratulations, and hey, look, I know we've seen you winning that much more. Yeah, I'd like to thank the uh, Axos, Bioptic, John's Masonary, Brahma Suzuki KTM, uh, Ed's Polishing, uh, Biker's Chores, Super Trap, uh, Rye, anybody else I forgot, thanks. Moroni. <laughs> Well, FastDog.com. Maroney's on a Davidson. <laughs> hey, okay. Give him a real hand, Jared Meese. We'll go back upside now and line up our semi.